Now time to inspire you, certainly in the creative arts, with a camera as her tool of choice. Our next guest, Saskia Kona, has dedicated her most recent work to uncovering and sharing the untold stories of female surfers in some of the most iconic spots, I think, around the world, and truly captivating at that. With her work taking her to all corners of the globe, finally, she's made her way back to the sunny beaches of South Africa, and she joins us this morning to chat a little bit about what looks like the most amazing life in the world. Saskia, welcome to the show. Hi, um, we've connected already. Uh, I, I have to say, like all, all good journalists, I, I first went to your social media pages uh, before I even looked at your bio, and your work really does speak for itself. I, I, I think you are a phenomenal photographer, and I know your focus is on female surfers, but there's so much going into your work at the moment, so congratulations on your, you. your, your latest mm -hmm. body of work. You seem to capture the power and the singularity of women. It, it really is amazing to me, but if I have to take you back to the beginning, I mean, you wear many hats, apart from the fine arts degree in photography. Yes. You started out as a fashion designer. How did you make, was it a natural progression to get into photography? It actually started with photography when I was like 16, 17, assisting someone in Longstreet and then doing production managing, shooting a couple of model tests, and then the clothing thing happened. And blew up. <laughs> and yeah, it allowed me a totally free life and traveling the world with it, and it was amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, when I, have, I I kind of say I've, I had a, an opportunity to look at your body of work. There is a fashion sensibility about how you take photos. What led to this particular project, to the work that you're doing now with female surfers? I just decided to take portraits. It was more of a practicing thing. Um, and the subject matter is what's closest to me because I go surfing every morning. Hence the, the cost. <laughs> yes. Um. It Very actually good. happened on the way to go surfing. <laughs> <laughs> As really all injuries do. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's the subject matter that's closest to me and I decided to start documenting because I realized it's quite an untold story as well, the women's surfing story. And well, it is, I think, often a very male-dominated world. But there are some phenomenal mm. South African female surfers, Absolutely. but globally, um, you know, it's also a phenomenon. I I'm going to ask you to kind of put yourself out there. I know it must be difficult to choose three favorite photos, but maybe you can choose three subjects or, or photos or settings. Sure. Oh, at I the moment, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely at the moment my current favorite. It's Bernie Shelley. She's uh, from Cape Town, 70 years old. We I know you met her. last week. Yes. And she's just such a legend. She just brings such an amazing spirit to all our surfers. She Completely. inspires all Actually of us. Actually giving me goosebumps seeing yeah. her like that. And I just, just capturing her, yeah, it was amazing. And this one as well, it just has a nice dreamy feel. And just staring into the ocean, all of us surfers know that feeling. Um, absolutely, mm -hmm. and I'll ask you to choose one more. Uh, this is Kate and Molly in Byron Bay, and I just love the mother-daughter connection, and they both go surfing together every morning, and I just, yeah, just love their connection. Uh, very quickly, lastly, uh, mm. I think we have a, a, a groundswell of amazing young photographers and creatives in, certainly here in Cape Town, but in South Africa. Words of advice for, for young female creatives like yourself? Get your technical down. <laughs> um, yeah, never lose your creativity, but really grasp the technical. Nowadays, everyone can pick up a camera. Yeah, Instagram is very friendly, yeah. Get back to the roots, shoot film, learn to read the light, really learn to see it, feel it. Oh, you really have honed your craft, so thank you so much for setting uh, that example. Thank you so much for having um, me. And, and the work speaks for itself, so I would really suggest go to a website, go and check out our social media platforms. You have to see it to believe it. Saskia, thank you oh, so much for joining so us. Please much. stay injury safe <laughs> now. Get back out into the water.